Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Ultimate Alchemy. We are going to be getting gold for the first time in this episode. All we need is tin and glowstone. Should be easy enough. Let's grab a couple stacks of each. And we just throw that all into the smeltery. That's all there is to it. Now, I don't know if that's all going to fit. It may or may not all fit. And it looks like we can do about half a stack at a time. So I will need a lot more of those seared bricks that we were working on. Let me get those going. We can make this thing a bit taller. Yeah, maybe I should have gone four by four and then they would uh, fit more stuff at once. But I think it's more about parallel parallelization. That's not easy to say for me than it is about uh, one of them being able to go really fast. I'll just add another layer, which gives us nine more items at a time. Heck, I'll add one more after that. Boom. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. Smelt down all this glowstone, and then smelt down the tin, and we will have two stacks of gold. Now, we won't just have the gold, we have to cast it, which we haven't talked about yet. So we're gonna need to use these basins, and those need to pour into a mold of some sort. So let's see, what are our options here? So for molten gold, yeah, fluid transposers can just fill things. You can also get solarium ingots, but that's not really, not really what we're talking about here. So casting, we will probably, one option is to cast into blocks and that doesn't need a mold. Um, and then you can just craft into ingots. And that's 10 seconds to cast into a block versus... Where's an ingot? Well, it's, it's hard because you make the casts from the molten gold. So there's an option here for everything. Where's the actual... There it is. So two seconds to make an ingot would be 18 seconds per uh, nine. So I think in this case, it's actually faster to just do the blocks of gold. So we'll just make a crafting, casting basin. Crafting basin, that's a different thing. So we'll make a basin here. Uh, I'm doing that wrong, we need the bricks. Turns out I do need more grout, huh? Grout, grout, grout. Uh, we're still out of sand. Our sand and gravel got jacked up. Oh, crap. There we go. We have enough flint for the next five years. Yeah, it'll help if I throw this in there, I think. Um. That can work. Ah! Mistakes. Okay, 10, go away. I need some inventory space. We keep filling it up with random, random stuff. Let's get rid of compressed cobblestone. Why do I have so much of that in here? I don't even need that. Get out of here. Um. Did I throw away my compressed gravel just now? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Why do I do this? It looks so similar. You can't blame me. You can. You can and will blame me. Uh, we should actually keep some cobble. Oh well. It's all infinite eventually, but the problem is it's not infinite now, which is when I need it. Uh, let's... Just grab some more of this, I guess. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. So embarrassing. Anyway. Route. Did I pin it? No, I did not. I probably should. For now. Okay, there's 40 more, which is only 10 blocks. It's not that much. Perfect. 
two basins. Okay, so we throw those here, and then... Oh, wait, was that my gravel? No, that was only one gravel. Sad. Uh, and then we need faucets. And faucets allow you to do the do the dumping, as it were. Need some more seared bricks. Bucket shape. And we will be able to automate these things later, but for now, we'll just turn them on. Oh, shoot, is that... Oh. Well, we've already ruined things. Uh, we'll, we'll let the glowstone continue, I guess. There's more tin in. Because that should just make a block of glowstone, so that's fine. And my ratios are going to be off. Because it's not going to melt back to uh, the same... Well, will it? 1,000 1, is 8. I don't think it will melt to the same. I think we'll be short two pieces of glowstone, right? Well, how much did it use to make the glowstone? I guess that's the question. Oh, no, we're good. It gives me the same amount back that it used. So that should alloy perfectly into a crap ton of gold. Two stacks, to be exact. Now we can start the casting process. Give me that gold. Uh, let's grab some levers so I can just turn those on and keep them on. They are redstone controlled, after all. Pull the lever! And then they just auto pour. Only a good idea if you have all of the same thing in your smeltery, which is not as easy as it sounds. Oh yeah, and then I can easily extract into uh, some chests here. So let me do that. Grab another chest. And then we need those flat guys, and we need a, let's see, shift click right there, and there. No? Oh right, wrong color. That one. There we go. Oh, do I need a clock? I thought a lever would work, but I might need a redstone clock. Like it needs a pulse, I think, to turn on, rather than a constant signal. Maybe. We're about to find out. Yeah. Okay. Redstone clock. Do, 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 do. I'm out of redstone. That's easy fix. Alright. Grab a few of those. Get rid of these stupid levers. And that'll make it work. Although, it's so annoying. Can you not configure these in any way? <laughs> Only pour half the time. Hmm. I wonder if there's a different type of... <sighs> what is there? There's a... Timer? Is that what it's called? Now that we have gold, I can make these. Emits a redstone pulse after a certain amount of time. I want it to be something that, like, turns on and holds for a while and then turns off. I don't know if that's possible. I mean, this works. Whatever. I'll have to come up with something better. Oh, I'm just being stupid. I don't need to use faucets, that's the problem. I can literally just use uh, fluid translocators. You guys were probably screaming that at your monitors. What are you doing? Um, the question is, where are my fluid translocators? There we are. 
Okay, forget this faucet noise and redstone clock noise. I can just do this and this and this and this and this and this. And then they fill instantly. That's way better. Okay, perfect. And look at all this gold. It's beautiful. Okay. So that will last us a while and allow us to get to infinite gold. Just a little trickier. So I'll probably wait on that until we have RS. Oh, this is the problem of casting partial. Because we're not gonna end up with uh, exactly two stacks because that's got some leftovers. Okay, one other thing I wanted to look at is the obsidian all-in-one tool versus the steel. I'm not actually sure. I'm going to do a speed test to compare them. Uh, let's see. Obsidian, where are you at? Aot. Aot. Oh, up here. Hard to see. Okay, make that. Make that. Make that. I made two swords, that's fine. Because we have a trash can right there. All right, pickaxe. Now the durability will be higher most certainly, but the durability is really high on the iron one already, so it's not too worrisome. Gosh, 32,000 durability. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the steel is faster, or the iron's faster, actually. Oh, we're gonna keep that. A I O T. Do we get better ones? Well, diamond is gonna be rough because of diamonds being difficult in this mod pack. Emerald might be possible, though, a little sooner. Or a black quartz would be easy. Interesting. It would also be easy to do Restonia Crystal once we have the Atomic Reconstructor, which is actually something we can already build, believe it or not. Um, I'm actually curious. Let's try Restonia. How do we get emeralds again? We have to... Why am I not remembering? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we need liquid emerald or fluid emerald or whatever you want to call it. Molten Emerald, that's the word. And you Magma Crucible, uh, Paper Wealth. <laughs> and you make Paper Wealth with Paper, Green Dye, and Gold Coins. You can also put Blood, Sweat, and Tears into it, but that's not the recipe you want to automate. But yeah, we're not gonna have Emeralds for a long time. So let's, we could try the Black Quartz. I'm curious, I wish there was a way to see their speed. I don't wanna make the black quartz one if we don't need it, cause that's a lot of black quartz, which is manually made right now. Later on, we can automate it. But Restonia, on the other hand, is very easy. Uh, let me just make that atomic reconstructor real quick. Atomic. And we're going to need a pressure plate. And then we'll set that up next to our power. I think I can do it this way. And then uh, hold a redstone torch. We need that. Along with some redstone. We want pulse. And then we can throw crap in this corner. Ah, I was worried about that. Redstone gets in the way, has to go to the side. Yes? No? Hello? There we go. Boom. Easy. 
Easy crystals. Can we make quartz that way too? Black quartz? Or am I just being hopeful? No. No, we can't. Anyway, uh, let me make more of that since I'm sitting here thinking about it. Because we'll use that for various projects over time. And let me put something other than gravel here so it doesn't look like garbage. Yeah, let's do that. I kind of liked having the wall look nice. Um, okay, get rid of the obsidian. Aot, because I don't like you. The Restonia, on the other hand, we are going to try it out. Restonia. Aiot. Okay. So, sword. Check. Hatchet. Check. Spoon. Check. Fork, check. And the old hoe. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It feels exactly the same. Well, I like the color better, so see you later, iron. And it technically has a little bit more durability. Cool. All right, how's these gravels continuing to be ornery? Oh, I can make a key now. Cool. Let's do that. Drawer key. Thank goodness. Not control click. Right click. Someday I'll know these hotkeys. Okay. Lock, 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 lock. All of you. Oh, look at that. We can lock everything at once. Cool. And that is how we want it. Awesome. Okay, we'll put that in the like tools category along with these redstone duty boppers. Uh, those can go in here. That iron pickaxe is not long for this world. Anything else we need to move? I'll probably move like item transportation stuff to its own section. And drawer stuff. Although I'm gonna be crafting with the upgrade templates, so maybe I'll leave that there. Okay, what else do we need to do? I feel like there's so much we need to do. Uh, we need to automate. We need invar. That's kind of the big goal. Because for refined storage, we need that quartz stuff, which means we need invar for that machine. So invar is nickel and iron alloyed. Cool. Iron is easy. We've got infinite. Nickel is also easy, but you need a fractionating still. Now, to get a fractionating still, well, it's easy. It's tin and iron and glass. Uh, except for the part where you need a pulverized nickel or a nickel grit. And that's where it gets a little tricky. So you can smash a nickel ore with a hammer. Smash it with a hammer. Or you can use the immersive engineering crusher, which we're not going to do. The only other option is a pulverizer or a crusher on... I want to say there was another option. I swear there was another way to do this that I am now forgetting. Um, maybe not. So we're going to need iron ore blocks to get the first pulverized nickel. I think. Unless there's a way I'm missing. I think that's how I did it last time. Yeah. So iron blocks are made by casting iron onto stone. So given that we have a 10% chance to get that, we're probably gonna need, I don't know, 10 blocks on average. So what we'll do is we'll grab these. We'll grab a few iron blocks. 
and we'll get these melted down. I will have to turn these off. And I have to get rid of that, unfortunately. Probably better to have this on the pulling end. Uh, like that. What the? That's not what we wanted. What is going on? There we go. Uh, okay, so those are off. Good. Throw the iron in. It'll take a second to smelt. And then we can throw these in automatically. I could even automate the feeding of them if I really wanted to. Is that worth it? Yeah, it might be. I'll need a couple more chests. This can kind of be the manual um, smeltery. So we want to push out. Didn't work. Um, is this gonna work? That is that is right. Okay. Didn't quite look right. Boom. Okay, we need half of those over here. All right, are you done yet? Long smelting time, huh? Ingots would have smelted faster. And there we go, 20 blocks. So all I need to do is turn this on, turn this on, turn this off, turn this off. Now, can I use levers for this? No. Probably need some sort of like redstone control upgrade for these or something. Or you might have to redstone on the block that they're on. I don't actually know. But either way, we'll get our iron ore in here. Click, 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 click. We gotta wait. You could automate this with some sort of timer. It would be a little tricky though. I don't know if you can read whether or not the item, the cast item has been placed into the basin. And if you can't read that, you'd have to come up with some really clever timing. Um, because yeah, otherwise I don't know how you do it. Okay, now we need the pulverizer. Let's get that thing. I could, well, we're going to want all of these types of machines. What are these? Thermal dynamics, thermal expansion. So we might as well make it. Um, let me get a stack of you. We're going to need some stacks of tin and copper as well, or gears is what I'm thinking. So we're gonna make a stack of copper gears just to have, we'll make a stack of tin gears, which I don't need yet, uh, redstone. Boom. Machine frame, there's the tin gears. Stack of those. Get some more stuff, get some glass. Because we need a lot of that. Just feed it all in here. We'll need it all eventually, right? Okay. Make a stack of those, which I know seems extreme, but it's really not. Um, and then I won't make a stack of these, but I'll make 32 of them. I'll make a half stack. And that'll save me a lot of time later. Boom. Okay, so pulverizer needs RF, which we're currently not making in a ton of places, so I'll just throw it there. And then we throw our iron blocks into that pulverizer and question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. If we get lucky, we'll already have enough. Bada bing, bada boom. All we need is one nickel grit. One nickel grit for that fractionating still. Okay, no 
No dice yet. I'm also going to need uh, water mills. Where are they? I typed in the word water and can't find them. There we are. So these guys are the easiest way to generate GP, at least early on, because all they need is stone burnt, which is the polished stone. So we'll set that up once we have water, uh, which will be not too far in the future at this point. Are these on? Okay, how are we doing? Still no, huh? Okay, not lucky. Not our lucky day. And six, seven, still no dice. These still are not building up. It's just so much, uh, so many ingots that they need to make. Okay, two more, we should have it by now, right? No, still not, we've done nine. Okay, the tenth one is the expected value. We are now officially worse than the 50th percentile. For unluckiness. It's a good thing we grabbed 20 iron blocks, huh? Wow, we've done 12, still no dice, huh? Okay. Watch, watch it not work after 20. That would be... Now that would be very unlikely. I don't know what 0.9 to the 20th power is, but it's got to be a pretty small number. Still nothing, huh? We're at 14. I'm going to Google it. Uh, 0.9 to the power of 20 is... Well, it's actually 12%. Okay, that's actually not as bad as I thought. So there's a 12% chance that even with those 20 blocks, we still don't get it done. Relatively unlucky, but oh, we got it. There it is. Woohoo! All right, so that pulverized nickel, we take over to our crafting station and we turn it into a fractionating still. But I need some gold gears. I'll go with four of those for now. Actionating still. Now, as far as power transmission, we'll deal with that in a minute, <laughs> but I'm going to wait. Another thing that's kind of annoying in this mod pack is moving fluids around because there's no Ender IO tank. Do people call it Endurio or Enderio or Ender IO? I'm not sure. But either way, there's no Ender IO tank, which means you need to either use I found cans can be pretty useful or the um, oh no I forgot what it's called oh no blah 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 um it's not a can it's not a tank it is it's not a vessel shoot oh it's probably made with glass oh gosh I forgot what it is but it allows you oh it's right on the tip of my brain it's not a bottle um i'm guessing it has glass in it that's why i'm doing this i'm hoping to get lucky and see it i remember what it looks like wow that's a lot of colors of shulker boxes Come on, come on, where are you? Shoot, not seeing it. Okay, um, is it a bottle? No. Is it a canister? No. But yeah, it's very useful. Uh, <laughs> if I can remember what it's called. Oh gosh. Is it extra utilities? I thought it was extra utilities. Maybe it's not. Might have to load up my old save just to remember what it was called. That would be 
That'd be sad. What is this? Bag of holding. Interesting. What does that do? I'm actually really curious. I'm gonna make that. There's so much stuff I don't know about in these mods. Um, like, stuff that would be useful for me that I'm just not gonna do because I don't know I can do it. Oh, I'm gonna need books, though, which needs string. So I'm still a little bit away from that. Okay. Oh, what was this thing called? Bottle? No. Can. Ister. No. Fluid something. Not a fluid tank. A glass. No. Maybe it's made out of hardened glass. Maybe I should try that. Oh, it's all the same stuff mostly, right? Was it forestry? Maybe it was thermal dynamics. Reservoir, that's what it is. It's this one. It is thermal dynamics. Yes. Okay. I knew we'd get there. Alright, this bad boy is really what you want. It's so helpful. Because it actually allows you to carry more than one bucket in your hand at a time. And that, my friend, is gold. Now, I do need a lot of... I'm just going to throw those in. That's just iron. And we're going to need a lot more iron. Go with two stacks. And we will fractionate all of that. Turn that into nickel. And then we can start making some invar. Easy peasy. Once we have that, we can start automating the quartz stuff. Or at least semi-automating it. I'm trying to think if I want... Um, what are they called? Conduits? Yeah, these guys. The energy conduit. So conductive iron. How do we get conductive iron? Going in circles. Um, I need an induction smelter for that too. But then once we have conductive iron, we can make these, which are really good for transferring energy they're fairly cheap. I can also do leadstone duct, flux ducts, which work. But the problem with these is they require lead, which is annoying. Now lead, I'm gonna need for other things, so I'll need to make it at some point. But it is a blend of iron and obsidian. And obsidian melts to be, it's two ingots per. So if we wanna make lead, we could grab some actually, if we want to. since I'm here anyway. Um, okay, but we've got that iron and now we need to get rid of it. So the easiest way is to throw down, oh, what are they called? I think these are called tanks. Um, yeah, this guy, the portable tank. And this one's nice because it holds on to its inventory even if you break it. So this is like good for but it's also good for collecting fluids from the basin. No, not basin. What is this called? Smeltery? Mm, throw those there. Boom. Look at that. Just like that, we got 6,000 millibuckets. And then we can just whoop, scoop that all up. This thing can hold up to 10 buckets. That's why it's awesome. And then you can plop it in. And then that'll start fractionating. It's not very fast, but it will work. Other things you can fractionate are crude oil, which we haven't done before, resin into rosin. Bio crude into gasoline. You have to do this mildly blue to blue to very blue to royal blue to true blue to finally make um, lapis. That's how you get lapis for your grand finale item here. But you need lapis for a lot of other things. That's actually 
long before the end of the pack we will have Lapis. But yeah, it makes one, one nickel at a time in this fractionating still, so not super fast. We'll also grab all of this iron and throw it in here. And then we'll dump it, and then we'll do some uh, lead, because I'm thinking about it. Probably won't do the leadstone flux ducts, because um, we're going to get the flux network after not too long. All we need is flux, which is easy. And, well, is it easy? This doesn't need steel, right? Yeah, okay, then it's easy. Um, and then the Eye of Ender, which Ender Pearls are not too hard. We'll talk about that in a minute. Blaze Powder is a little tricky. I think the easiest way to do it is centrifugally separate the magma cream that you get from, uh, where is it? Pulverizing a magma block, which you get from mechanically drying lava. So we need the mechanical drying basin, which needs mineral, and mineral is pretty easy if I remember correctly. How do we do this again? Yeah, it's just redstone and water. So once we have water, it's honestly really easy to get like all the mineral you'd ever want. So that's not bad. Okay, so we're gonna dump that. And then we'll... V changes whether you're filling or emptying. If, if it could do both, I think. If it can do only one, it will just do that one. That's full again. I could put another tank and have it empty. In fact, I can do this now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, you know what? I don't even need... These machines can automatically draw into themselves, which I just did that wrong. Shoot. Now I'm in a pickle. Um... Whoa, that scared me. Um, so, we need to change this machine to not output on the top, but to input from the top, which is blue. Auto input unavailable. What does that even mean? What do you mean unavailable? Why is that unavailable? I've never seen that before. Weird. Okay, so I guess that doesn't... Oh, you've got the wrong stuff again, somehow. Hmm. I assumed auto input would work, but it doesn't. So then we're going to have to use the fluid uh, translocators here. Which is fine, I just assumed it would work. Is that? Oh, I'm placing this. Oh, that has an auto output. I don't even need it to do it that way. I can place that there, and then is it a wrench or hammer? It is. There we go. Oranges for out. There we go. Okay, and then we have some nickel here. Now I'm just gonna dump that, not there, into the smeltery itself. Six ingots, eight nuggets, and eight millibuckets. It's exactly one bucket's worth. I, I must have lost some somewhere in the transition. Because it should be an exact amount of Oh, there we go. There we go. Seven ingots. Okay. No, oh, I keep screwing this up. Stop clicking on things, Cradax. Empty. Empty. There we go. Don't click that. It will steal fluids. Um... I forgot what I was doing. Nickel. How much do we have? 
We've got one block. So let's cast that. Oh, I was doing lead, that's right. Okay, so for the lead... Like that. Just keep the ratios equal here. Uh, it's gonna make some invar, isn't it? We'll just throw in some extra iron. Not that we need it yet. We're gonna give some more lava. Haven't felt like making that infinite yet. Okay, refined storage. What else do we need to be working towards? We need... Ah, fine. We're gonna need to automate silicon, which is... Uh, crushing, not quartz, but sand. So that's easy. Crushing sand, redstone, iron, and then, ah, the vines. Okay, let's start working towards this. So we need carpenters. So these guys are the backbone of your forestry stuff. And all we need is glass, wood, redstone, iron. That's all easy. I should be able to make a couple, in fact. I will make like, I don't know, five, six. slabs it's so annoying that like fireproof is there because sometimes it what am i trying to say it basically turns stuff you don't want into fireproof and then it acts like you don't have it and that's annoying anyway Three, four five six sturdy casings crafting tables these are used in a variety of places. I guess we can only do one at a time because of the axes. There we go. Six carpenters. Easy. Um, running out of space for power. <laughs> okay, so this guy needs water. We need a squeezer first. Because the squeezer can squeeze wood to get your first water blocks. However, I'm just gonna make 10 of those for later. I don't think I need multiple squeezers. And we are definitely running out of power. Let me make some more coal generators. stuff. Probably not going to use faucets. Need an empty bucket. So you are squeezing, squeezing some logs, baby. And you need uh, power. There we go. That's it. That's all you need to do water. Boom. Wow, it's one bucket per log, too. I don't need barely anything to get started with this. And we'll do a, a classic 2x2 uh, two two infinite water source. That does work, surprisingly. You'd think it might not work given that there are other ways to, to make water. You could easily do infinite water without doing this. But it, it works. Let's do that, I don't know, right here. Let's 
Then we can grab from the squeezer. There you go. And now we can get as much as we want. Or get rid of it. Ta-da! Water. Water accomplished. Okay, so then we will remove the squeezer for now. And we'll move this over to here. I also would like an aqueous accumulator. So this guy is pretty awesome. It pull, it gets free water essentially from water blocks around it. So we can already make that. I think it needs power though, which is kind of annoying. But we'll get one of those frames. Aqueous accumulation shall begin. Get rid of some blocks. Okay, I'll put my smell three blocks over here. I don't need them right now. And how did the lead making go? Great, six blocks. we got the nickel out and we can't there's no way I think to get it back unless we were to finish filling that so that's a bit of a bummer what happens with basins rather than ingot ingot casts are not wasteful because they'll you know make sure that you end up with oh I wonder if I could have gone the other way I didn't try that did I Yeah, we've got our first nickel. You don't need a ton of just plain nickel ingots, but I wanted to make a few. You do need them sometimes. All right, what are what are we doing here? Where are we going in life? Yes, accumulator. Let's get that set up. I might put it even here and then I just need one square next to it and then I can do power underneath it and we just need infinite power which comes from you know what the old wooden barrel is over here now no middle right there you are flat transfer node uh, I think I did the wrong direction yes shift right Still wrong? Interesting. Oh, that's because that's just a wooden block that I put there, not the barrel. <laughs> That'll do it. There we go. There we go. And now the aqueous accumulator is not working. Oh, well, there's an obvious reason for that. There we go. Boom. So infinite water is now accomplished. And we can output that with some pipe of some sort to the carpenter. So for now, we will use the simplest pipe. It's really a bummer. My favorite pipe, because of my Nomi factory experience, is the Ender IO fluid conduit. Um, I forget what they're called exactly. They're called pressurized fluid conduits. So the issue is that the regular fluid conduit uh, respects gravity which is really annoying and they're also quite slow the pressurized one you don't have to worry about gravity and it goes quite a bit faster but the problem is you cannot make fused quartz in this mod pack you can make hardened glass 
but not fused quartz specifically. So you actually can't craft these, which is really annoying. And therefore, you can't craft the ender fluid conduits because those need fused quartz or the pressurized. So if you want to move fluids around, you got to use ender tanks or something else. Um, ender tanks, honestly, might be the easiest way to go for water. So I think we're just going to do that because I can make ender tanks already, I want to say. I'm also going to want ender chests. I kind of forgot about those. Ender chests are gold and obsidian. Okay, so we actually got those recently. Oh, same with ender tanks. I feel less bad now. So let's make some cauldrons and then make some ender tanks, baby. So 24. I guess 28, just because I have the cauldrons for it. And now I can pretty easily... Uh, it's already set to output, so there we go. We just fill that up. And the problem is the, the channel. I don't like using the default channel ever. I like to avoid it because then you don't have to accidentally get things in the wrong places. That does mean we're going to need to find a die that we can already make. And I think we can get black die from charcoal. Let me confirm. Can we make die black? Is it with tiny charcoal? No. Uh, die, what is it? Die black. Um, one of these, black pigment. Oh yeah, there we go, just four charcoal. Okay. So there we go, so now we can die, and we can call that, we can treat this like binary, and so that'll be channel one. Channel one is the black on the right. Channel two would be just a black on the middle. Channel three would be both black. Channel four, channel five, channel six, and then channel seven is all of them. And then by the time we need seven channels, we'll have other colors of dye, I'm sure. So all this to say, now I need an ender tank. I think we don't need an output. I can just plop that there and switch this around and it'll, yep, there we go. It's beautiful. Now, hold on, why did that get water in it? Oh, I know why it got water in it because we filled into channel white before we switched the color. Um, so we need to empty this out, which these will get in the way of that. I think I can just control wrench the... No, you can't? Really? Okay. Well, guess we mine it the hard way. There we go. And then I should just be able to fill... Take that. into that okay I think the white channel is now empty just to make sure yeah all right now we need to change this to the black channel or channel one I should say Bloop. and then it fills with water and we're good to go perfect so then our carpenter is gonna do all sorts of good stuff now I'm gonna need two of them which means we're gonna need more power, aren't we? Uh, where's that extra coal generator? Put more power over here. And then to get the initial um, sticks, or sticks, bushes, you need sticks. And then to get, I can't talk and think apparently, to get the big bushes you need uh, dry bushes uh, it'll make sense in a second I'm not speaking clearly whatsoever okay we do need a lot of sticks though we already have a lot of sticks let's grab as many as we can what can I get rid of here that's kind of a basic I don't want levers right now 
Those should probably, levers and signs should go. Oh no, that's annoying. Can you like clear NBT by crafting them? No. So just because I've placed them, they're forever their own entity. Huh. Maybe, maybe there is a way to do it. Ah, you need two of them. Oh, what? What? Shouldn't they stack again? What? Come on. I thought that was the whole point of that recipe. No, copy tank frequency settings. I don't even... Frequency settings? Oh, like what channel it's on. I think is what that means. Anyway, signs, levers. Uh, the squeezer I don't need for now. Okay, so it's just this. Two sticks make a dead bush. And then the dead bush makes a living bush. And this can't auto input. So we're going to need another of those flat... These flat transfer nodes are a lifesaver when the transfer rate doesn't really matter. Uh oh. These flat transfer nodes are buggy as all get out. <laughs> um. Oh, never mind. I thought it deleted our carpenter. So instead of a flat transfer node, let's try the regular kind. There we go. Okay, and then dead bushes just need um, water to turn into a live bush. So then we can pipe over here. And I need a fluid duty bopper. I have way too much wood in this. Like, I need a few for sure, but not this many. Um, don't throw the building wand overboard. No, sir. Now, I am going to need a bunch, so why don't we finish filling that inventory? I don't think it's worth completely automating yet. Like, automating the sticks and everything. But it is worth doing a bunch. Okay, that will be a bunch. And then the live bushes, we just need the fluid transfer node. There we go. That'll do it. Pop this on the tank, and I want to say that should... There we go. We're growing oak saplings. Sweet! Now, with that means we can do what? Lots of things. Anything that needs string is now within our grasp, as well as oak leaves, which turn into compost. And compost is used to make... Um, well, you might say dirt, but no, it's used to make grass out of dirt. Uh, but what you can do to make your first dirt is this. You need to turn gravel and compost into water of life, and then you put water of life in the still to get liquid dirt, and then you put liquid dirt on top of gravel to get regular dirt. And then with regular dirt, you can do a two by two coarse dirt, um, how does this work again? There's coarse dirt somewhere. I think you actually get coarse dirt. So you make two of those. Or how do you get coarse dirt? No, you throw dirt into a drying basin, I guess, with water. And it turns into coarse dirt. And then you can do two coarse dirt with two gravel to make four. Is that how it works? No. Sorry. Other way. You get two regular dirt. 
that's how you do it. And then you get two gravel and that gets you four coarse dirt and then you hoe that four coarse dirt to get four regular dirt and then you do that again and now you have eight and then you keep doing that a few times and then you have a few stacks and then that's enough for a while. Um, so you really only need two dirt first time. Well, yeah, the bigger thing is the string and vines. So we're going to throw these saplings into our crafting menu. Where did they go? Did I not pick them up? Nope. And is it that way? No, this way? What am I doing? Oh, I'm being stupid. Uh, you have to crush them to get vines. So we need a pulverizer which we now can get because we have Invar. No, we don't have Invar. I still haven't, uh... oh, never mind. It was just gold that Pulverizer needed. Okay. Oh yeah, we already made one it's sitting right here. Uh, anyway, we can pulverize all of the oak saplings that we want. And that'll get a string, which does that mean we can finally get a backpack? I would love me a Oh, can we not get a regular or a satchel? Sorry, satchel, not a bag. I'd love me a satchel. Ah, oh, but it needs leather. No, I can make it with with wool, rock wool. How do you make rock wool? Lock rock. Uh, which one is it? Dollar sign. Lock rock wool. Can you make rock wool at all, or is it just something you find? Uh, wait, there it is. What's this? You can smelt slag. Specifically slag. Yeah. So if we throw... Sand. And, like, what's a good item that... Pretty much anything. Anything that runs. Just like an aluminum chest plate, an iron gear with sand, so we can we can do that to get slag and then get some rock wool. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Or we could I went past it. I don't know a forward hotkey. Any other other way? Nope, we need the leather. That's a bummer. Uh so we'll probably do the rock wool method. Because leather's still kind of tricky to get. Um, wait, no, it's not. Right, we can do fish. Okay. No, sorry, we can do this. We just need to catch some fish and get three leather. Let's do that right now. Fish. King rod. Need string. Oh, what do you know? The good news is we now can get some string. I always forget if it's horizontal or vertical. There we go. 16 string. Fishing rod acquired. We'll catch three fish. And then we need to do a drying rack. As far as I know, this is the only way to get leather without some extremely complicated stuff later. I actually am uncertain if it's possible to get leather any other way for the first time. I could be totally wrong about that, though. But the problem is leather comes from rotten flesh, which is, and there's no other way to do it other than drying meat. So unless there's another way to get meat, uh, which might be a thing. But I think uh, this is the first way to do it, but you need, I'm trying to remember, I got stuck somewhere in the loop. It was very much a catch 22, because to get rotten flesh, you need either another wart or a block of flesh, which you can't do a block of flesh. Um, so you need nether warts, but to get nether warts, you need red mushrooms, but you can't get red mushrooms unless you have nether meat, and you can't get nether meat unless you have nether rack and protein soup, and you can't get protein soup unless you have bio mash, but bio mash needs a knife. That's the thing, you need a knife. And you might think that's easy, but the problem is a knife handle needs leather. And so you get in this loop, and I'm not sure if you can get out of it. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there was one other way we found. So that we would need a red mushroom. 
to do something different. But I don't think you can get a red mushroom um, at all in this pack, actually. Because this is a, just a duplication, and this also, it shows no germlings, but you need germlings. Unless there's a way to make a giant mushroom from a brown mushroom. Because you can do this. You get mushroom stew on seeds to get a mushroom, and the mushroom stew comes from fermenting. Oh no, that needs protein soup as well. No, never mind. You need you need to do it this way. I don't know if there's another way. Okay, two. I just need three. I'll do four for the knife as well while I'm here. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I don't know how they got here. That's the real question. This tiny pond in the middle of the void. Ew, fishy, fishy, fishy. Alright, one more. Did I just catch a string? Huh. What else can you catch with fishing? What if, what if you can catch a red mushroom with string? Come on. There we go. Alright, so now we need drying racks. Rack. And... Turns out this is also... Uh, how you end up managing... I was about to make an obsidian wall, but that's not going to be the best idea. Because I don't think we can mine obsidian yet. Let's make a little drying wall here. Okay, and we need to cook the fish. Cookie. Cook it up nice and delicious. The seared gauges anymore. Put those in there. Put all the machines away for a minute. Okay, so we take our cooked fish. Now this is a slow process, so what I'm gonna do is yoink my acceleration wand back for a minute here. And that'll do it. We'll have our four leather that we need for a satchel and a knife. Did that wrong. Got a control click. But yeah, you saw earlier uh, that it took eight minutes to do this, so it's not fast. Heck, even with the wand, it takes a little while. I think we're still on fastest, right? Yeah. So this is one way to make ender pearls: is you you cast a uh, melted ender, whatever it's called, molten ender or whatever, into a pan cast, and it makes a soggy ender pearl, and then you have to put it on a drying rack. The other way is to use cryothium, and that method could be easier to do with the machines, but it's probably more work. The soggy version is pretty easy. We'll just put a, you know, a user with some acceleration wands on one of these and it'll dry pretty much instantly. And we'll have a dedicated tank for that, a small tinker smeltery tank. But that'll probably be after RS. All right, here we go. Boom, four leather. Okay, awesome. So I will make the knife because I'm sitting here thinking about it in the crafting table, though. Knife blade, knife itself, glorious, and then we need the satchel. 
and that needs a block of wool. Just for string. Boom. There it is. Now, I want to say, how do we upgrade it, first of all? Invarn 10 is the first upgrade, um, which, of course, we almost have Invar. We got Nickel instead of Invar, so I just need to grab. I probably need it in the episode is what I need to do. We're at an hour and 10 minutes already. But I need to grab my fractionated Molten Nickel here. And then throw that into the old Tinker's Smeltery. These are both jacked up now. One with lead, one with iron. I really gotta come up with a new system. The new system is casting tables, is what it is. Casting tables with ingot casts. So we can stop with this partial nonsense. Okay, now for the first one, we do need uh, gold. Okay, hold on. Gold was what? Glowstone and tin? Not gonna mess with the nickel. Hopefully tin and nickel isn't a thing. It's not. Good. It's funny that glowstone is so much slower than some metals. I guess the melting point... Well, I guess glowstone lives in the nether, so it kind of makes sense that it's got a high melting point. That's not crazy. But anyway, we throw an ingot in there, and then we can cast um, onto it like that. Um, that's not doing what I want, though. I wanted to make another ingot cast, ironically. Make four, just so we have it. Okay, so now we can plop those ingot casts down and then I can just keep these on and we won't have to worry about partials anymore. It is a little slower, like we, we did, that is why we were doing blocks earlier. Uh, what did I do wrong? This one isn't transferring. Uh, let's see. Shift click. There we go. Alright, so we'll get those gold bits out. But then the problem is we don't want nickel. And I don't know if these have filters or not. I don't know if there's a way to filter that. Now we do just need iron with the nickel, but I'll turn these off to make sure we don't. We could always just throw the nickel back in, of course. It's not really a huge downside either way. Um, so it's, it's whatever. Are these building up yet? Okay, gravel has finally built up. So once tin is done building up, then sand will start building up. Goodness, it's only taken five years. Everything else pretty much full, except for the charcoal is also going to take five billion years. And there's the iron. So we finally got Envar. Beautiful. And this empty. Fully. Throw more iron in. We can just melt the buckets. Okay, that's a good way to get rid of them. I only clicked once. I don't like that I got two stacks. I don't know why that's working that way. I don't know if I did something wrong or what. 
But yeah, we got a lot of Invar now. So there you go. That's uh, Ultimate Alchemy Episode 3 for you. As always, if you guys have any comments, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.